All right, here's a look at what's going on. Partly cloudy skies in the metro. No showers yet, but across the northern mountains, we've got some showers going. Now, you won't see a lot here in this shot from Angel Fire, but we do have some storms starting to bubble up over the north and a couple of showers trying to get going over the Wheeler Peak Wilderness Area. Still a pretty good day across a good portion of New Mexico, but we do have those storms across the northeast, especially east of our northern mountains, picking up some storms along the I-25 corridor up across the northeast right now. And as we slide a little farther down to the south, scattered storms across Eddie and Lee County and some of these just don't have a lot of movement to them. There's not a lot to get these things moving. In other words, winds that could push the storm along are just not a factor at this point. So we're dumping a lot of rain around the Tatum area at this point, and that is a concern. And across the southwest, we're getting a couple showers here as well, including places like Sierra County and over into Grant County and even over into Catron County, grabbing some storms. Overall, not a bad crop of storms today, especially considering that high pressure is locked over the state here. When that happens, we don't tend to do very well for storms, but today, Okay. Considering the situation, it's okay. 93 degrees in the metro, temperature 70s and 80s to the north, 70s where we've had some rain like Las Vegas. Look at Tucum Carry 102. Again, you get all across the east, it is really hot, especially the southeast and east central sections. 104 Carlsbad, 99 Alamogordo, and 93 out in Denny. You can see the moisture plume coming up from the south here, but again, this is a moisture plume that overall is fairly meager in overall size and depth. So as we look at it over the state, you add the heat of the day, we get a couple of storms out of this deal, but it is hardly a significant push of southerly monsoonal moisture, unfortunately, and that again is tied to the fact that high pressure is just hanging over the state. Now, over the next couple of days, it's going to move a little bit to the north for a while into Wednesday, so I think Wednesday will be our best shot at showers, and then that high is going to sag back down to the south. And again, not totally eliminate showers, but it will take at least the overall numbers down to some degree. So as you check out the seven day forecast for each of our zones, you'll notice the best shot for showers, and that does include the south western portion of Colorado, definitely going to be Wednesday-ish before things start to dry out a little bit more. Meanwhile, over to the southwest, best shot of showers here Tuesday, Wednesday, and then spot storms will remain possible through the rest of the work week and into the weekend. 97 tomorrow in Roswell, 94 in Fort Sumner, and 77 Cloudcroft. Going to remain warm with that chance at a spot shower and shot of showers next couple of days. Not too bad across the northeast before it starts to tail off. Northern mountains by tomorrow afternoon, another good shot at some afternoon. And of course, mountain thunderstorms. Meanwhile, the East Mountains, partly cloudy, some isolated storms out there, 92 into Harris. And finally, right here in the metro area, we'll start it off in the 60s and 70s, warm it up into the mid to high 90s. So, definitely going to be hot with scattered rain out there. And that shot at scattered showers continues through Wednesday before it comes off the board for a few days. That high locked overhead. Okay, thank you, Mark.